Well, today, J.S. Sketch have lent me their top of the f range, most powerful bike that they had in stock, the Honda 125 MSX. Complete with L plate because, well, I don't think it's for, because of learner riders, it's just because of the power that it has that um, you have to be cautious as a first time that person out and obviously let other people be aware. But um, this is uh, the MSX125. Um, Got to say, the colour's not bad. <laughs> and um, well, this will be the uh, first little uh, ride on one of these. So uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, well, obviously it's uh, it's quite low. Um, easy to get on. <laughs> Suit most people. Let's get these mirrors adjusted. Ignition turned on. Um, well, we've got a rev counter. Uh, high beams on. We'll turn that off. Um, well, <laughs> it actually feels quite good. I was a little bit concerned that uh, I might uh, have a problem getting my uh, knees bent feet up but uh, yeah no problem quite a way for the clutch to actually bite on the way out um, I think I've immediately adopted the supermoto seating position which is sort of a bit further forward with uh, knees on the tank and uh, well <laughs> it's just an easy little ride from the set off I'm not actually sure how many gears this has, so uh, we might need to count them up. I think I'm in second at the moment, so into the national. Third. And we're getting up over 50 miles an hour. Uh, there's a little bit windy today. Uh, four. Uh, yeah, well, over 50. We're coming up to the actual uh, speed limit. Um, so not actually holding the car behind. I oh, know I'm actually in top gear, so uh, I could have been in third to start with, but... Um, We'll uh, we'll sort that out one from the next uh, the next stop. Well, we've had a little bit of town work, and I suppose this is where a lot of the uh, time the bike will get used. So, uh, 30 mile an hour speed limit, and uh, uh, straight up into third, using about half the revs is 30 mile an hour. Um, you can feel the bumps a little bit. I mean, you know, as you can see, it's uh, it's repair upon repair upon repair. Um, so you know, you can feel a little bit of you know bumpiness, but it's not a hard jolt. Um, it's not a wallow either. So uh, you know, you're feeling what uh, what the road is. It just feels like you, you know the tyres are uh, are nice and firm. So um, that's fine as we're coming around Pevensey Castle. Um, you know, the th the thing to do on this is to just <laughs> keep the throttle open and just rev it and go so um you know it's good that you actually got to show a bit of restraint uh, just to keep it down to 30 but um uh maybe you can't always do that but um you know let's uh, take it out on the, uh, on a bit of a national and uh, see what we do there okay let's uh, just head out of the 30s and uh, try it through a couple of little uh, minor corners um Try and get a bit of a, a build up on the speedo. We're uh, we're all clear, as I said before. The mirrors are good. Um, you can hang position here. You actually, um, you know, get a, a very good view from up here <laughs> um, or down here, should I say? Um, you know, it. Uh, I don't feel exposed at all. Although the bike is quite small, um, you know, I'm getting quite a good view. I can't really see the bike at all from the riding position, apart from the mirrors, unless I look down. So. Um, you know, uh, all for a good bit of fun, and um, you know, it is catching up with the, uh, the little 4x4 that we um, stopped to let get ahead. So, uh, you know, in that respect, um, you know, you're not holding any traffic up, you're not delaying any bits and pieces. So, doing its job. We've got a junction here, so uh, just be a bit careful. Park cars on the left. Um, but again, I think the only, the, the sort of drawback is that, um, you know, is the um, lack of being able to overtake. I mean, this is just ridiculously uh, slow and, um, you know, I, if anything had been coming, I just wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have had a chance. So, um, you know, I'm flat out in whatever gear I am. Um, 
uh, second from top, <laughs> let's call it fourth, and I presume this is fifth, so uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of more pull away, so, um, but then, you know, you've got to just show the restraint and uh, respect the bike, and uh, that's what it does, and uh, that's what it is, uh, and just don't get caught out, and, um, you know, so I think you could most probably, um, you know, be okay on the, on the 60 Nationals without being too much. Uh, personally, I wouldn't want to uh, take it on dual carriageways. I just would feel vulnerable at the speed of, uh, of the other vehicles. I know the lorries are not really supposed to be doing any greater speed than they'll be doing on this bike, but um, they do, and, and so many other people. So, um, yeah, you know, a slower vehicle overtaking another slower vehicle and someone coming up there, so they don't tend to um, give them a lot of space. So uh, uh, let's get uh, back to some uh, Townsend. So we come into the 30 with a bit of traffic, and uh, the other van decides that he, you know, he wants to go and have a look to overtake, but uh, he's most probably turning left the same as me, so um, that's not worth it. Um, Yes, it's it's a quiet bike. Um, a lot of it is going to be in this sort of stop, start, stop, start. So uh, all good. Right, let's, um, I just need to <laughs> just keep on looking down at the indicator rather than press the horn. So um, that's what I'm doing. But uh, you know, we're actually we're in a thirty here. So um, you know, you've got a bit of. Uh, observing to do through the traffic and um, you know through the, the van in front so you can't just sort of be follow up in front because you're, you're a bit smaller you haven't got quite so much height um, you know maybe in commuter time um, you know unless you're stuck out in the middle going down there you um, you might be a bit more vulnerable um, uh, in traffic as, as not being as seen as, as some other vehicles and uh, you know but otherwise um, I'm sure it will, uh, will it, it hasn't got a lot of um, power when you're in traffic just to, to give that pull away um, I think you know you, I think you need to go up to 250 just to have that bit of extra safety safety factor um, but then you know the mopeds and, and bikes like this are meant for town um, you know if you're learning going through the phase you do not want anything bigger you just got to show that restraint and um, expect that it you know it hasn't got the power um, but then you know you haven't been used to the power so you don't really know the difference so um, you then learn to ride for the limitations of the bike and um, uh, 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 not the rider so uh, in that respect um, it's, a, it's a very good option um, but, you know this is what it's going to be doing in and out of traffic um, you know, when they're coming the other way with a bit of speed, I don't really want to get caught sandwiched up and, uh, you know, cars get a bit close together and, um, you know, you can't cut back in again. So, uh, tend not to go too much down the middle all the time. You know, unless we can see it clear and no junctions, we've got a red light. Um, but, you know, traffic could be coming the other way. There's a car parked here, where would he go? Um, you know, straight into us. So, uh, you've got to be a bit careful on these little bikes and, um, you know, they might be sort of fun in traffic you know zip 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 um, but uh, you know you you just got to be a bit more careful and um, respect them for what they are use them for what they are and I'm sure that lots of people will uh, will get some enjoyment out of bikes like this and uh, if a bike like this can get somebody onto a bike and then get them to pass their test and uh, carry on from there then all well and good so uh, race from the lights and off we go and um, thanks again to JS Gedge for the uh, the loan of the little um, MSX125 um, it's been a, a fun little a fun little ride